Make it do what it do, Mimic you. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro ski or bro at whatever your gender of preference. Give it a thumbs up. All right, we have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. And the first one the game that has been steeped in controversy. Not that fire death stranding, boy. I ain't buying no Pokemon. I'm getting death stranding. It's like, but. Pokemon Sword Shield has been controversy has been the centerpiece of this game but the reviews have come out and it looks like the reviews are silencing a lot of critics a lot of fans Wah, we can't have all the Pokemon Wah. why are they using well no this is a legitimate complaint the recycled animations I get that Everything else about the game is lit, bro. Besides some of the Pokemons having recycled animations, the rest of the game looks fire. And the review scores are indicating that Game Freak has another winner on their hand. Some of the scores, IGN gave it a 9.3 out of 10, which is, I think that's their superb rating or it's a real high rating. GameSpot gave it a 9 out of 10. Polygon had nothing but good things. Well, they had. This is what Polygon said. The surprise in Sword and Shield is that I'm still finding things that surprise me, even after putting in so many hours. It's in how Game Freak has made a linear game feel so much less linear. Make no mistake, Sword and Shield is not an open world game. There are limitations, but the game's designed for me not to notice them and mostly i don't and so that is good bro i like games that are open world but not too open we're like um where do i go what do i do breath of the wild is the exception but it looks like um the game is getting great great reviews i think it's at an 83 or 85 somewhere like that on metacritic right now and so for all of the controversy all of the complaining Y'all still getting a good Pokemon game, bruh. You know what's going on right now on my Switch as I speak? You know what's going on right now? That shield is being preloaded, boy. Next to that 2K, my favorite game, and Luigi's Mansion 3. I still need to finish Luigi's Mansion 3. We got them games, boy. We got them games, boy. We got them games, boy. All right, so great, great to see that the game is getting good reviews. This is, this is the best, this is probably going to be the best Pokemon game ever at the end of the day. Once it's said and done, fans play it, they're going to be like, wow, this game was real good. We were hating for no reason. The, and I like, the game just looks dope, man. I already said it. I've said it what I needed to say. All right, next news item. I got to shout out my six-year-old Samuel for pointing this out to me, bro. I didn't even get it. I, I sort of did have this at the back of my mind, but he really had me to think about it. Bro, when, for the trailer for Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna show it to you. When they first show the characters, this is what my six-year-old son said. <gasps> two players! Daddy, it has two players! And I was like, no, it's just a cutscene. And I was like, hold on! little dude is on to something look how similar they look bro luigi's mansion 3 had two players for the first time in the series with guigi i really think breath of the wild 2 will have two players co-op either locally or nintendo if you're able to play the single player campaign online with friends that would be lit but you heard it here first i'm predicting based on what my son is telling me six-year-olds bro 
I think Better the Wild is going to have two players, bro. They're going to have multiplayer. I remember EJ Anuma. I remember when Breath of the Wild was first announced on the Wii U. He said, we're trying to rethink some of the conventions of Zelda, such as playing the game alone by yourself. That never happened in, the, in Breath of the Wild 1. I'm wondering if they didn't have time to implement multiplayer. But EJ Anuma said, that they were trying to put multiplayer in the Breath of the Wild games. I still remember that interview when they first announced the game. So I really think it's going to happen in two. Just because they're showing Link and Zelda. Watch Zelda be playable alongside Link in some fashion. You heard it here first. Next news item. The Switch is killing it. And that's no surprise. The latest for Mitsu charts. These are the Japanese sale numbers. And the Switch tops the charts at 88 over 88,000 in one week in Japan, which is crazy, pretty good. And we're entering the big holiday season. I expect the Switch to continue uh, to take off, but <coughs> the number one selling game was Death Stranding. Death Stranding was the number one selling game for this past week. The game just launched, it makes sense. Um, Luigi's Mansion 3 came in at number two but the switch and switch Lite are the top two consoles playstation 4 pro and the playstation 4 are the next two and the, bro for the entire week the xbox sold 30 units for the x and 34 units for the s <laughs> bro, <laughs> japanese do not play xbox bro all right next news item there is an announcement for a Super Smash Brothers online tournament. It kicks off November 15th. What game launches on November 15th? And guess what? It's a Pokemon tournament for Super Smash Brothers. This is coming via Nintendo UK Versus, their official Twitter account. It says, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Sword Shield, this three-day time-limited Smash Brothers event tournament starts on november 15th and will focus on fighters and stages from the pokemon series so i guess you could only use pokemon characters sneak kirby in kirby look just like jigglypuff kirby could be a pokemon bro put pokemon put kirby in all right and the next news item I've already talked to you guys about how dope the new Sonic redesign looks in the Sonic movie. And now we know why. The lead animator of Sonic Mania was behind the Sonic the Hedgehog movie redesign. Sonic Mania is the best Sonic game ever made it's sad to say it wasn't even made by sega it was made by fans of the series bro sonic for me was at its prime during the 16-bit era sonic mania takes everything that was good about sonic and crams it into one epic game and the designers for sonic mania are the one the lead designer he's the one responsible let me give you his name Tyson Heese or Hesse, he's responsible for the Sonic redesign. Bro, talking about saving a movie. They saved that movie. All right, dudes, before we head out, two more announcements. <coughs> I am having a monthly giveaway. Pokemon Sword or Shield, your game of choice. This is what you have to do to enter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, right down below. Click subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. You do those two things, you're in the running. I'm going to announce the winner at the end of the month. But it'll be one. That's after the game launches. I'm already going to buy the game. Guess what? There's two versions. If you buy Sword, you can win Shield. You buy Shield, you can win Sword. A win win, bro. And before we leave. If you want to join the dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, get on my Switch friend list. Game with your boy every night. Become a sponsor. Become a member of the OGC Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. You could become a member through Twitch, by subbing through Twitch, by joining through YouTube. There's a join button, as well as through Patreon. 
patreon.com backslash obi one plays we have prize tournaments we just had a smash brothers tournament we hang out you get invited to my private gaming discord get on my switch friend list a fun time the links in the description of how to join that's it for this video what do you guys think about everything we discussed sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy Hey, I was about to put these glasses on his tummy, because that's where his real eyes are. I said tummy. You can tell I'm a dad. You can tell I have little kids. His tummy, Mimikyu's tummy, that's where his eyeballs are. <laughs>